Alright, so to recap last week, we continued killing Vorkath after getting the Dragon Hunter Lance two episodes ago, and we pretty much just started doing that. I did get a blue dragon task from Duradel, so that helped a lot because I was able to kill Vorkath and get Slayer XP at the same time. We got some big upgrades, we got a Bandos God Sword and Ferocious Gloves, those were the two upgrades. Very good upgrades for melee, especially for camping Vorkath. Then, later in the episode, we did the Wilderness Hard Diary with the goal of unlocking the ability to redirect the Wilderness Obelisks so we could camp the Chaos Elemental. I finished the video just by doing some Slayer and that's where we left off. So some good progress last week, we went up about 20 mil and got the diary done and now we can try our luck at the Chaos Elemental. Like and subscribe if this entertains you at all, comment if you like, it helps the algorithm and helps my channel, but you do you. 2400 hours. 2400 hours is around the playtime of my main account on Old School RuneScape. This isn't my first main account, I've abandoned a previous one, and I also have a hardcore Iron Man, and I've even played on other people's accounts. 2400 hours is just this account. If we were to go with every single account I've ever used, I would say my playtime is somewhere north of 6000 hours. And I've never gotten a pet on Old School RuneScape. A coveted item, sought by many collectors, very rare drop chance, varying from 1 in 300 in the wilderness, going up to like 1 in 6,000 depending on the boss. And I've never got one. I've always wanted one, I've always seen people around me get them, and I've just tried so hard. Thousands of boss KCs, millions of XP, and nothing. And today, that is my goal. I completed the Wilderness Heart Diary, bought a Vigora's Chain Mace, and now we are going to try to kill the Chaos Elemental to get our first pet. It's the Day of Reckoning, I'm going to go into the Wilderness and try to get my first pet. Uh, I went ahead and spent some of my Vorkath winnings on a Vigorous Chain Mace. Very good weapon in the Wildy, I think it's like 30% uh, accuracy in the Wildy or something like that. I don't remember, but the problem is when if someone PKs me, uh, I guarantee lose like 200k. I don't lose the weapon, but I lose the ether inside of it. So yeah, let's see how much we're risking here if we die. So protect item, obviously. Well, I'll try. We got killed by a player in the wilderness beyond level 20. So, okay. If I use a dragon defender and die, I know I'm pretty sure with the Avernic, you'll just keep it. Like it will count as a protected item because of how much it's worth. But if I die with the Dragon Defender, I don't really want to get another one. So I might get an Unholy Book instead. I'm terrified of the Wildy. Um, I just, all my time, like playing Scape, I, I'm never really, I'm terrified. I feel like I'm walking down the wrong street at nighttime, the wrong neighborhood, a dark alleyway. Yeah, so if a PKer comes, I'm going to be completely hopeless and I might just uh, AFK and let them kill me, but we'll see. Combat task. Alright, so there's an example uh, kill. Um, I actually didn't bring a looting bag. So I guess I'll just uh, drop bowls of curry and then switch out, but yeah, I really should have brought a looting bag for sure. I should have brought a stamina potion. These are things I'll uh, do on my next trip or if I die. Combat task completed. Well, I guess I'm a Chaos Elemental Veteran. 25 kills. Oh! Okay! What's the drop rate on that? Like 128? Well, it's another day, but the same grind. I've done about 40 kills since starting this uh, little grind here. Will the luck of the day be better than the previous? Not a good sign. Decide to stop doing Chaos Elemental to do some Slayer. We have a Jad task and I'm hoping for the pet. Will I get it? No. I think I, think I was supposed to get it right there if I could, but... I don't, yeah, I think it would have given me right there, but we can gamble the cape for a think, I want to say 1 in 200, maybe a 1 in 200, 1 in 100 chance, so let's try. Um, who do you, yeah, this guy, talk. 
or no right click exchange bargain yes <sighs> whatever cheeky 98 hp level up from a abyssal demons slayer task that i was barraging that means we're one level away from another 99 87 slayer from this skeletal wyvern task which means we now unlock cave krakens pretty horrible for xp and being efficient but i will probably do a few tasks just to go for the pet and uh collection log items he has the tentacle uh, trident and some other things so good unlock making good progress with slayer you know i'm really trying to keyword trying to be efficient with slayer so I already had Dust Devils and Nex extended. I was sitting here looking at the extension list, maybe thinking about Skeletal Wyverns. That's pretty much the opposite of what I just said, because they're not that good XP. It's good for money, but I'm using a skip block list, efficiency list. I'm not following it religiously. Religiously? I'm just looking for tips, and I decide to extend Bloodvelds. Yeah, you make pretty much zero money, but you can get Dark Totems, because I kill them in the Catacombs, and they're pretty good XP. Uh, but besides that, I finished the Skeletal Wyvern task, obviously, and I can get my next task. Blue Dragon task again. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is one of my favorite tasks, um, after the last one, since I just can't Vorkath like I do anyway, and I get Slayer XP at the same time. Another day of Chaos Elemental. I only do about 20 to 30 maybe a day. Uh, I like to do it at a specific, uh, a specific time. Sorry, I actually haven't been killed or even seen a PKer, so I, I think what I'm doing is pretty good. I'm going at like 10, 11 a.m. my time, and then playing on Australian Worlds. It's pretty much a ghost town. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Yo! <laughs> oh my god! I have a pet! I have a pet. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, yo, what? Yo, why he be floating so high though? Can I like? Yo, why he be floating so high though? I don't know if I like this pet. Can I lower his altitude? Like, why? Why are you flying so high, my man? Yeah, fuck. I got a pet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. So yeah, uh, as you can see by the video, I did get a pet. Uh, 82 KC for Chaos Elemental, I believe. Years of playing this game, and I just got my first pet. You know, everyone says once you get your first one, they all just start flowing in afterwards. So I'm already looking forward to seeing what my next one is. But yeah, I'm very excited to have this. And that also marks off another goal. So, so happy to have this, man. Can we use that newfound RNG from the pet drop to get the enhanced weapon seed? No, 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 no. Well, I've slowly been chipping away at that Vorkath task. I think the bank is around 162 million, so really I'm only up like 4 mil from the last episode, but my goal really wasn't to make a lot of money this week. Um, I did a lot of Slayer, so cannoning. It doesn't exactly make profit unless I get a boss task or, you know, like neck reels or something, so I sacrificed money making for account progress and yeah, got the pet. Awesome. Been chipping away at the Vorkath. By the end of that task, I'll probably be around... I want to say like 170 mil plus, so... But yeah, I'm cleaning up my bank here, and I sold the Vigorous Chain Mace. I probably should have kept it, because like, why lose out on the Fiend tax? But I wanted to sell it just so I could get, you know, an estimate of how much, like, cash I can spend. And I decided to buy a thousand Eclectic Implings, and I'm going to do every single one. I'm going to open them all, try to get as many medium clues as I can, hoping for 50, and I won't open them until I get 50. 
so I can have a nice big opening. But yeah, before I go into the recap uh, of the week, I want to announce I made a Discord for people in my clan and just for anyone that's a fan. It is in the description. It'll be the first link you see. Join if you want. Uh, don't be toxic. I'll try to moderate it. Yeah. Alright, so for the recap from last episode of this episode, not a lot to go over. I went up two total levels, going from 97 to 98 HP, and from 86 to 87 Slayer. Other than that, there wasn't a lot. Only one new collection log, being the pet. It's funny because the week, or yeah, the week I decide to like, focus on doing collection logs, I can probably get like, a hundred done in a week. Just from all the miscellaneous things that are really easy to get, I just haven't done. But yeah, no new combat tasks or achievement diaries. I really need to get the achievement diary cape, seeing as how that's pretty much my only side goal left from the ones that I've set up at the beginning of the episode that you see, because we did get the pet. So yeah, to recap, we also got a pet. Other than that, we didn't really go up much money. We went from 158 mil to 163 mil by the time I edited this. 163 mil, not a lot, but I'm having a lot of fun being more stat and account status oriented. And yeah, like and subscribe, comment, join the Discord if you want, follow me on Twitter. I'll see you next week.